and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to be making a fun party treat. Um, this is a really great recipe to serve at baby showers, wedding showers, any kind of picnic or party or family gathering that you're going to have. It's also a great snack to make when your kids are home for spring break. My kids are home for spring break, but you know, my girls are older and you know, they do their own thing. They keep to themselves. It's not like they were when they were little and they're home for one day and then I'm bored. I'm bored. And then they're constantly saying I'm hungry. You all know, you who have kids know that when they're bored, they're hungry because they think they have to eat because they have nothing hmm. fun to do. But you know, we find fun things for them to do. But this is a fun treat to be able to make as a sometimes food. You know, I really hate saying that, but I think that there are some people who think that all we ever do is eat this stuff all the time. Um, we make it sometimes. It's a fun thing to have. It's a great idea for a party, and I'm going to show you how to make it. And it's pineapple fruit dip. Some people may call it pineapple fluff. Um, it's great to dip strawberries in. It's great to dip. Our favorite thing to dip in it is either vanilla wafers or graham crackers. It's also a great cake filling. If you take a store-bought pound cake, slice it in half, you can layer this in there, chill it, slice it. Great dessert idea. So I'm going to show you how to make this. But first, I'm going to let my cat outside. All right. Now, there are a couple ways you can make this. Um, you can use Dream Whip, which is a dried whipped topping mix. You can use Cool Whip if you choose. Uh, anybody who knows me knows that I don't like Cool Whip at all. Um, and where I may at some point have enjoyed using Dream Whip or dried whipped topping mix, I have since learned that many of those things have propylene glycol, hydrogenated vegetable oil and we're oil. doing our mm. a, a good job of trying to avoid those things oil or cream right exactly so today we're going to use whipped cream I'm going to whip two cups of heavy cream and I'm going to get it started now this is also a great way to learn how to whip cream we're going to start on low I'm like a medium speed on your mixer it's going to get noisy and I apologize but we're not going to start adding anything to this, and it's very cold. I just took the cream out of the fridge. So. And whipping cream does not take that long. As long as you have cold cream and fresh cream, it's very important that it be fresh. Now, my cream comes from uh, directly from the farm, so it's very, very thick, and it's very high butter content. So my cream is very thick, very fast. Stiff peaks. Perfect. You don't want to beat it much longer than that. Because there is definitely a fine line between stiff peaks and butter. And that's perfect. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now we're just going to set the whipped cream aside for a moment. I have one brick, eight ounce brick. I don't know, I cannot get three ounce bricks of cream cheese anymore. I don't even know if they make them. So 
Um, I've had people ask me on more than one occasion what size brick of cream cheese is that. It's a three ounce brick. I mean, a eight ounce brick. Good Lord. It is an eight ounce brick, half a pound of cream cheese. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to beat this. I, I've had this out for a while, so it's soft, so I'm just going to beat it until it's a little bit creamy. Now I have a 20 ounce can, excuse me, of crushed pineapple, but I'm not going to use all of the juice. I'm going to drain some of the juice off. If you just put this in your strainer like this and bounce it a little, <laughs> that's really kind of what I do. You can press it down, but you don't have to go that far. And you see, it's really kind of dripping quite a bit still. There's really a good cup of juice in that can of crushed pineapple. You don't need all of that um, in your dip because it's just going to make your dip runny. Now, if you know, you can just set this aside and somebody in my house will just come along and drink this or you can make yourself a pina colada later you know your kids are home for spring break no one would blame you okay I'm gonna put this whole can in there but I've drained it all right we're gonna wait to put any additional juice in there I don't want it to be dripping like a whole lot and if you want, see, look at when you press on it, a lot of juice comes out of there. There's more than a cup of juice in that can. So I'm going to correct what I said just now when I said you don't have to. I, I prefer it to be a bit on the dry side, and then I'll add juice back into it as I like. All right, that's good right there. Just plop that right in the bowl. And give it another, you know, get your beater. Okay, now you're going to get yourself a box of instant jello pudding. Vanilla, you want to use vanilla. I mean, that's my personal preference for this dip. Um, dump that on in there. We're going to whisk this together also. Okay, but now you see how not creamy this is we're gonna add a little bit of juice in there so I'm gonna go ahead and get my measuring cup just so I can estimate properly for you let's start with a half a cup of juice now you have to remember that pudding mix is going to thicken things up a bit. Grab me a spoon and see what I think. Just like when we made the uh, banana pudding and the the coconut cream pie, 
you it's going to thicken up fast. I'm going to add another quarter of a cup of juice and whip this up. And that's looking just how I would like it to look. It's not too thin of a pudding, but it's also not too thick. Now, let me get these beaters out of the way. Now, this may look like a long drawn out process and it may look like we've made a few dirty dishes, but you know what? If you're gonna be making this for a party, this really does go together rather quickly. Let's get this can out of the way too. And I'll get my spatula. And what we're going to do is we're going to start folding the whipped cream into this pineapple pudding mixture, which is essentially what it is, pineapple pudding. We'll put a little bit in here and we'll fold. This would also be an excellent pie filling. You could take this and put it into a graham cracker crust and it's gonna be awesome. And this makes a nice amount of dip. You can put this in a serving bowl and then you can just continue to refill it. Or like we do here at our house, we put it in a large container and then everybody serves themselves from that container. Whoops, my hands are getting slippery. And then we grab a spoon and we give it a taste, or we grab a vanilla wafer and we give it a taste. Did you stick your finger in that bowl? Maybe. Mm-hmm. good? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's a winner for sure. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to just serve that up with some fresh strawberries, some Nilla wafers, and put that out. That's a really nice snack for a party or for just any time, really. So, there you go. What do you think, Pam? Pineapple fluff fruit dip. Really quick, really delicious, perfect for a party. I hope that you try this. I hope that you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya. Bye.